It's time for the Giz Whiz with Matt's maddest writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1984, recorded Thursday, April 18th, 2024. What's up? On this episode of the Giz Whiz, Dick D. has another fantastic LED bulb for us. We also have another what the heck is it? I have a gadget that's on sale that'll make your morning commutes a bit better, plus fantastic viewer video. All next on Vicky's Wiz! It's the same dumb show with Dickie D and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Giz Wiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing blue and LEDs. Get ready for the Giz Wiz now. Now! now. The chairman of the tortured gadgets department, Dick D. Bartolo. <laughs> How you doing, Dickie D? I'm doing good, sir. And you? Doing great. I have been looking forward to this day for months. Oh yes, yes, yes. Your your friend. Yes. Has she been by the house at all lately? No, you know, her and Travis, they are just gotten so lovey-dovey ever since they've started oh. dating each other. They never come around anymore. Okay. Oh, you know, there, wasn't there something on the news tonight that Travis lost his ring? <laughs> no, I didn't see that. I know I that his brother his... lost his ring, Jason. He could. He he keeps losing it. it. Yeah, no. The Super Bowl it's... ring. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> there was something about that. So it's it's like like worth twenty thousand dollars. Yeah, there's diamonds in that thing. It's like solid yeah. gold. And yeah, evidently been... they, they had a fake one and a real one, but I think the newscaster said the real one got lost. So. <laughs> yeah, and I think you're talking about Jason Kelsey. In the, he has a documentary, yes. and the very start of the documentary, he's looking for his ring, and it's just oh. like <laughs> the classic like wife-husband, you know, husband's searching everywhere, and his wife is just like, I told you <laughs> you were going to lose this thing. I told you that you shouldn't have brought it to that party because now you've misplaced it. Like, it was just so funny. Oh, um, God. So, yes. Yeah. So, yeah. So, those who are who are still confused, uh, Taylor Swift is dropping her 11th studio album. Uh, not counting. These are the original, not counting the re-records. Tortured Poets Department. They don't even sell merch for this album yet because it's not out. So, I had to make my own merchandise. <laughs> <laughs> with a cricket and uh, an iron-on press. Oh, so, what does it say? Well, you know, I can't read. Yeah, uh, I don't know if you're going to be able to. I, I didn't quite. I don't also don't have a great uh, other camera. But it says, all is fair in love and poetry. Sincerely, the chairman. Which is oh. uh, one of the kind of lyrics we kind of got. And then this is the TTPD logo that Taylor's kind of using I just Googled it. Wow. Wow. Slapped it, slapped so you it. made a thousand of those. <laughs> this one is one of a kind, baby. One, one of a kind. Of one a kind. of a kind. Yeah. Yeah. I, I whipped out the, the cricket, and uh, they have this really cool transferable ink uh, option. So I, I went, went for that. And, you know, crickets are kind of known for their vinyl. You know, you, you make yeah, a I, vinyl I, I, thing. I, yeah, and so I didn't. I, I thought with the cricket, you cut the stuff out and ironed it on. So you can, and 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 I think what I had in my mind was, yeah, you'd iron on like a vinyl, so it would be yeah. like a like a layer on top. And but they had a product that I hadn't seen. And some people are Sims to Rachel's talking about infusible ink, and oh. it's really cool because it works very much like sublimation. Where, oh, sublimation paper. Uh, this is Michael. Oh, Epson and does that too. Anyway, so yeah, you get this paper and it has a cool texture on it, and then you use the Cricut to cut. You know, using the knife. Um, this one just happened to be just a solid black, but you could get a, like a galaxy pattern or like a floral print, and then that would be what is underneath. And the cool thing is, when it transfers, it transfers like ink unlike the vinyl. So it's not like a second layer. Oh, this is oh, like I, yeah. ink that I got 
printed at a so, store. So you printed it and then ironed it on, or you put your shirt mm. in the Cricut machine? So you buy like a sheet of paper. You st- oh, okay. it's so it's so many processes. It's so many steps, but I'll go through the processes. You buy the infusible ink paper. You stick that onto this backing board that's slightly tacky. You put that into the Cricut machine. The Cricut machine uses a knife to cut out this design, Oh. then oh, oh. you peel everything you don't want. So you peel all the negative space, all the, all the other stuff you don't want, you peel that off. It's kind of wasteful <laughs> in a way. And then you stick down what's left and then iron that on to the shirt. Um, and how you kind of make it last is you can add a lot of elements to one, uh, you know, it's almost like a 12 inch by 12 inch piece of stuff, but you can add a lot of elements and use your scissors and cut them out, which is what I did here. As I added a ton of elements to one, I cut them out and then I just placed it almost like old school copy and paste. Oh you know? my gosh. With a zero, you know, so I pl- put it where I wanted it and then used, uh, they have a heat, they have a really expensive heat thing that's like 130, they even have like a $200 one. I bought the little $50 like thing um, and it'll transfer that. It has to get up to like hundreds of degrees, like 350 degrees, something like that. So a typical iron will not do this. Uh, uh, this what about process. the air fryer? The air fryer might work. Set it for 400. I think so. Uh, maybe my oven. Just put the <laughs> yeah, there you neck go. There you go. right into the oven. Um, there you go. So yeah, yeah. Anyway... I thought I found it fascinating. It was a very fun DIY project, especially when there is no merchandise available. Yes, yeah, yeah, exactly. This little uh, uh, announcement. Um, Okay, well, before we jump into gadgets, uh, I heard that you were upcycling a few things. Yeah, I, I, I was. I made a little video of, you know, he sent me that great Easter egg full of candy, and I hated to throw it out, and I thought, you know what? I have a use for this. Ah. Hey, Chad. So I'm only partway through the candy uh, in the Easter egg you gave me. Oh, wow. Uh, you did a in the good- interest of recycling stuff, uh, I found a <laughs> use for the <laughs> top of the egg and the uh, straw, okay? So people used to stare at me because I'm kind of bald, but now. <laughs> now? They don't look at me at all when I walk down the street. <laughs> <laughs> they I'm try to like, avoid. Hey, Incognito, they just say, yeah. Oh, there's nothing different about that man. It's actually uh, they avoid eye contact now. Uh, <laughs> in fact, so it's actually much better. Uh, that's so funny. <laughs> I like so. the uh, the hair. That's my favorite. Of yeah, that. the hair. Yeah, <laughs> you picked a great color. A great color. A natural. Are you a natural blue? <laughs> Your, is your hair naturally that straw-like? Wow. Yeah. It's really yeah. some nice texture in there. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't smoke near it, that's all. <laughs> or get near any Easter bunnies. They just go yes, berserk. Right. That's Absolutely right. that's, berserk. That's right. Uh, all right, so let's jump into some gadgets. Uh, okay, let's uh, do it here. And, and the first one is because of a gadget you did, I think, just last week. Oh, here yeah. we go. Okay. So I'm going to try and do this with the lights out because the camera just seems to uh, make the light all look the same. All right. It's sort of a variation of the bulb Chad found. Okay. So there's one light. And now there's two lights, three lights. Four lights, five lights, six lights. I can tell the colors changing. Yes, and a slight. You, you can if you look closely we'll when it first so six, clicks in. Five. Yeah. Four. Yes, three, you, can, you can see some of the two, changes. One, and we'll stop there because I'm blinded. Yeah, I was just saying, the same <laughs> company as the bulb that Chad showed you on need, a you need previous the solar show, and he used glasses. the light switch to vary it between three different brightnesses. So it's from Fate, F-E-I-T, electric. It's the adjustable white switch, soft white, bright white, natural white, cool white, daylight. And you can do it with the switch or, this is kind of amazing, the switch is also built into the bulb. All right? That is so nice. it's a 60 watt I, I couldn't believe it. It's like, uh, it's I love that they lumens. have the option. 
Yeah. And I like this idea a lot. And uh, on Amazon, we'll, we'll look at, have Chad look again. I think I paid, I think I paid six ninety nine for a box of two. So they're only uh, six ninety nine, three fifty each. But we'll go to Amazon. But I love the fact that you can either use the switch or dial it right on the light bulb itself. That was you're sitting there and you want a different brightness, just reach up to the bulb and click it along. I mean, it's just built right in. Yeah, yeah. A little arrow points to what you are you, uh, using as the bulb light. Pretty nice. This is, I, I got to give it to him. Uh, seem to be doing everything right over there at feet. Cause yeah, uh, I love that you can, I, uh, any time that a manufacturer of anything just goes around all the buttons in the UI and just goes, let's just select it. Just, just have a selector, just a normal old switch. Yes. I yes. am. I applaud you company. Yes. I just and, and, want it dead simple and I want it to work. Yes, and I think people do not read the description totally because it only got like 3.8 stars. And I read most of the reviews said, my app cannot find this bulb. <laughs> and it says right on the copy, this is not a smart bulb. Yeah. It, it's you a, adjust it's it. a dumb bulb, which we love. It's a dumb bulb. Yes, you adjust it with the on-off switch like you did with yours. Yeah. Or directly on the bulb. Now, in one part of the copy, it says six choices. It looks like more like it's five choices. But do it with the <laughs> but switch. But one of the choices is turned off. Oh, there you go. There you no go. No light at no all. No light at all. Zero light. Not using the product is a choice. It is. It's a I choice. It's, it's a choice. <laughs> that is, the, uh, the, then the, the price is, uh, I'm not sure oh, if it's because so I'm it, not signed in or not, but about yeah. $4 a bulb. A, a bulb. Yeah. Which to me is is really decent. I've been so intrigued with this company when we looked at them last week, and it really felt like they they just, they kept doing these like one-use bulbs. Like, okay, do you yeah. want it to change? colors do you want it to do brightness do you want it to have a battery it really seemed like they were they were looking at a lot of adding just a ton of features just straight into the bulb without the use of an app yeah which is and, nice. and they, they also make smart lighting if you want they, they have they have a line that has an app yeah but uh, a lot of people uh, i gotta like say Dennis. i'm so tired of the yeah. apps i'm so tired of the apps i'm done with them the reason is, is because either this is, I'm going to use an app for an absolutely massive company. It's got to be Philips, you know, Philips Hue. It's got to be like basically Google branded. You know, it needs to be a humongous company that I know that if I buy the $15 light bulb right now, it's going to work the next time I want to buy a $15 light bulb. I'm going to stay in, I need the ecosystem to stay the same if I'm going to use an app. Yeah. And when I go and look at Amazon, it's like, it has an app. That is like the biggest downside. I'm like, <laughs> I don't want to use your crummy third party. I got to remember which app that that thing uses. Don't want it. I would much rather, especially if it's a third party, something I've never heard of before, want it to be dumb. I just want it to work with the switches. I don't want it to work with the smart home. Um, so I'm all about this. Yeah. This is great. This yeah. is great. Fade Electric. Fate Five or six way light bulb. Uh, Okie dokie, that is cool. And uh, on ah. to a. What the heck? What the heck? Time for what the heck is it? Uh uh, take a peek. Ah. All right, and this is a real what the heck is it because we were at uh, online at Target, and you know, they have all these bins uh, ah. as you work your way to the cashier. Ah. And Dennis and I, at, almost at the same time, said, "What is that? The heck are they?" I think it's some type of spike, uh, but I cannot the understand label, the other. And, oh, okay. Now we the know, other but do I don't you get know? it. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, All right, guess uh, keep the neighbor keep the neighbors uh, out of the yard. <laughs> baby Captain shoe stretchers. Baby shoe stretchers. Uh, okay. Head spike. No. Um, 
They yeah, I was are. thinking like a tent spike type thing. Beach towel clips. Oh. All right. What, so, I would have never guessed. I went into the bathroom and got a towel. And I think there were. And Dennis, Dennis is going to be the wind, okay? Oh, wow. Whoa. Oh, it's so windy Whoa. here. Oh, it's so windy. <laughs> Let me get one of these. <laughs> you better put it on before the wind starts. Let's see how you, you know what? You have to put it on before the wind starts. Otherwise, this is very hard to do. Mm -mm -mm. So you have to raise that up. And then, so this would be driven down into the sand, okay? And now, we'll, we'll do, it, do it from this side with it. There, um, okay, and this is not all the way clipped in. Okay. That's pretty good. And it, so, it finally yeah, came out. I went and took it away. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's just in time for summer, too. It, it is in time for summer. Yeah. Let me put it in further in. Uh, uh, um, like it that. Is, you almost need two people yeah. because yeah. That, that, this would also work that for thing is blankets. hard to... Yeah, it's I mean, tight. You put, you know, it's, You're supposed you to get that the all the way back into to the, the dirt. Hole. Yeah. All right. Now do it. Now shake it around. Uh, uh, <laughs> but it should be all the way down to there. <laughs> But I think this is going to be pretty nifty, okay? Uh, oh, yeah. And they're four bucks, all right? And that was at Target. Beach towel clips, a four-piece. I'm not sure they should be all the same color, but they're not. Interesting. Oh, Scooter X found for 99 cents. <laughs> of course. Of course. Uh, here um, uh, on Target website, it seems they're three bucks. They're also about three bucks or like three twenty-five on Amazon. I think it's a clever idea. Yeah, I could see. I could see needing that. Oh, that's the wrong. Where are we going? There we are. Here's the ninety-nine cent one. Oh my gosh! Oh, you get. A oh, well, wait a minute. For each one, or is it ninety-nine? Oh, for all four. Yeah, for all four. But honestly, though, just go to Target and get the three. Spend two dollars extra and just go to Target and, you, and and take them home with you. Yeah. Yeah. I also, I feel like uh, you could probably just get one pack for a family of four. I don't know if you need to really f need your towel to be in all four corners. Oh, like, I see what you're saying. Nailed yeah. down. I feel like just one will stop, will stop it. Um, I will say, uh, Captain Jay is saying, I need to test this out uh, going to a beach. I have gone to a beach or two since moving to Florida, and I thought the wind would blow my towel away as well the first time I showed up at a beach. It didn't. And the moment oh. I put my towel down on the ground, the wind went right over. It's like, because there was nothing under the towel, the towel didn't, once it was on the sand, it was fine. So and I don't no even know if these are- one. Just huh? all by itself. Yeah, no it was- weight, No weight on it at all. No. Nah. Okay, okay. Now, may not have been that windy of a beach, Maybe I have a heavy towel. <laughs> I don't know, but I, I I did find that I didn't I didn't need one. Uh, okay. But uh, or any any really, I was like, is this towel gonna stay here? And then yeah. it did. So well, but if you go to the beach in a hurricane, you're gonna need this. <laughs> when I watch a space shuttle launch, who knows what the breeze? Yeah, is there be. you go. There you go. <laughs> Florida must have go. sticky sand. So, <laughs> so I'm saying, yeah, who knows? My my mileage is definitely, who knows? Mileage may vary. So, uh, but that's cool. Very inexpensive. Very inexpensive. That's cool. Um, uh, all right, and now on to my third gadget. Yeah. Is this? So the lamp that I have and use in demos is this little guy here. It's also my disco uh, lamp. Has no shade, doesn't matter because I use it as a as a demo lamp. Uh, but uh, I was at Target and I said to Dennis, you know, I, I should get a new table lamp. And I went and I just needed a, a, a small bare bones kind of lamp. And I had one for 20, one for 30, went to Staples. They had one for 30 and one for 40. And then I thought, you know, what about Amazon? I was forgetting I buy it. Every day of the week, I usually get something from Amazon. So I went to Amazon, and I found the table lamp. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, didn't want anything table fancy. Lamp. And this is definitely not fancy. All right. Oh. It's a little guy. It's so itty bitty. 
And uh, 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 I like the shade. Actually, I like the whole length. Do not and Dennis knew about lamp wrapping lampshades, okay. which he'll mention here. Yeah, I'm like one or two of my lampshades. So they wrap shades like around that. it. Uh, they wind it around when they wrap shades. Oh, I see. I like you see that. what I mean? They do that with all shades. They do, isn't that interesting? Yeah. Yeah. How did you know that? Because I bought shades. <laughs> <laughs> how, how, yeah. It is so annoying. And you think yes. you can just tear that stuff, you but you can't. can't. Isn't that time consuming? It must be, but that's how they do it. Yeah. All right, so then. Yeah, I think that's uh, all right. Oh, boy, yeah. this is simple. Okay. So this uh, goes in there. Ooh. And then and there's then a giant locking nut. This. That is a cute in. little lamp. You know what? Uh, before I even assemble it, the bulb that we did, remember the bulb with the thing? Ah, uh, ah. Uh, put that in it's here. It's a very handsome looking lamp. It looks like something that um, I'd see on 2001 A Space oh, like Odyssey. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, yeah. on uh, the uh, space design. station. I, I, I think it's really. What, what do you think and it costs? Now, so oh, my like, God. A, uh, a line switch. That's oh, you know what? Uh, Maybe this will show that bulb that we did. Uh, I'm gonna guess like twenty five. No, it's all oh, that's so a good guess. It's all, yeah, it's all very. Oh yeah. All very bright. And then it goes, yeah. Don't what, you have a dead wrong. Uh, oh. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so I like this lamp a lot. And lamps are not cheap, you know. So let's take a look. Uh, uh, uh. Ten dollars. Oh. Uh, oh, you know what? I don't know when you'll be seeing this. Seventeen percent off. That's roughly a buck seventy. Nine eight dollars and thirty cents. Wow! And Is that it, unbelievable? It comes in a ton of different bases. So you can get a pink shade, a white shade. That is a, oh, 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 there was that, a, uh, look at uh, that. Now, uh, expensive, now look at expensive. That. <laughs> Over 14 bucks. Anyway, I think this is pretty neat. Uh, and as I said, with the black base, I don't know why it's not going back to, uh, most of them seem to be 15 bucks. When I bought this, which would be uh, early April, it was, uh, 10 bucks. And if that coupon was there, it was just $8.30. That's it. Should have bought two. I should have bought <laughs> two. Uh, it might not be too late. I'll get, if it's still 10 bucks, I'll just get a spare They're one. They're really nice. Yeah, I like that a lot. There shall be light, and there shall be shade. I like them. I like them. Yeah, those are, those are uh, pretty cute. I like it. Um, can't complain. Still, only nine bucks. If you join, you know, I'm not signed in. Oh, uh, oh, I see. Uh, if you're not a member, it's fourteen dollars. Right, exactly. So if you're not part right, of but Prime, but the coupon still there, seventeen uh, percent off. Okay, still there. It's, boy, it's still cheap. Yeah, and I like that shade a lot. I think everybody in the chat room has been saying they love the look of it. It looks very yeah. Sweet. It's great. Yeah, it's great. I'll have links up on Saturday chat room, but if not, you can just uh, look for the just type type ten dollar uh, ten dollar lamp or fourteen dollar lamp, and it's an inline switch. Okay, so the switch is not on the lamp, and there are a ton of choices. So if you want a different color base and a different color shade, I think there are a dozen choices there. I like that. I like that a lot. Okie dokie with that. Let's move into... You know you don't need it, but you might want it at Chad's Crappy Corner. Get it. Okie dokie, this is uh, the category of on sale or discounted gadgets. Ooh. So uh, I recorded a video earlier, let's check it out. Hey diggities, so we are back at it again with another deal, a clearance or saving gadget. And this one is not once discounted, but twice. Look at this. Save $750, right? You pay $2250, but it actually was reduced again to just $12. So not only 
like we got 50% off the sale price. This thing apparently cost 30 bucks at one point. So this is a charger. It's actually a wireless charger that can go into your car and its main claim to fame is that it will uh, only take up one cup holder. It is a cup holder charger, but it's a cup holder wireless charger. So you can see this like weird thing through the sides. You're expected to like shove your phone in it what? and then it will do wireless chi charging. So there it goes in there. Inside, all you get is a cigarette lighter, which luckily my car still does have. So we can plug this in to the cigarette lighter over here. Then this plugs in to the DC outlet on the top. So you still got a wire, but you have a wire now going to the charger like that instead of your phone. Well, that's super duper exciting. Okay, now I wanna charge my phone while I gotta take off my thing. And then you just take this and I guess you, you shove it, by the way, the, the lights did come on. So you shove it in. There oh, we go. Oh, the side stand, I see. It is not charging. That is that is not that is not charging my phone. Let's try it the other way. The other see, way. Maybe it maybe it needed. Ah, there we go. So now it is charging. Exciting. That's really kind of all this thing does. It fits into most cup holders. Uh, I would be so sad if it didn't fit into a cup holder. Um, the, the wire is just right here. Now it's charging. And it does have, as you can see, a USB-A and USB-C on the top. But there you go. If you want the auto drive cup holder charger, you can now get it at Walmart for only 12 bucks. <laughs> uh, so there you go. Um, I was worried that this would not fit the wider phones like there was yeah. just no way but honestly this is like you know the the biggest 15 pro max iphone it actually weirdly fits <laughs> i didn't think i thought my phone was way wider than a cup holder but uh but i guess it's not oh, oh. so if you don't have any type of wireless charger in your in your car and you typically just drop your your phone in the cup holder i'd say this is a really nice alternative i do like that it leaves the top of the phone uh seeable so oh, yeah that's kind of like yeah check notifications see the time uh that's kind of cool i did wish that it had a bit more elegant of a wire situation than just plugging the dc thing right into the top because if this was more elegant and nice, it would make my car look nicer. But now <laughs> with this thing just shoved in there, I don't know, don't really love that. And then it has a USB-A and a C on the top, but once again, I don't know why you'd wanna use that if your whole point is to not need to uh, have wires going everywhere. So it's kind of a strange uh, gadget, but uh, pretty good all together. Let's see if I can find uh, uh, the, here it is on uh, Walmart. Uh, it looks like it's not yet uh, fully discounted like we kind of saw with the other one. There's that full price. Mm. $29, I would not, I would not spend $29 on that. There's, there's no possible way in this earth that I would suggest anyone buy that for 30 yeah. Box. Does it say what the output is of like the C charger? So uh, the, yeah, on the top, it does five volts, three amps, or nine volts, oh. two amps. Okay. Um, and then that's uh, that's the USB-C, and then the USB-A, it's funny, it just has it listed right on the top. Five volts at 2.4 amps, or nine volts at two amps. So That's not bad. So there you go. Um, and then the wireless output is 10 watts. It says, but honestly, I've had uh, I've heard that that is so unreliable with wireless. It's like if your phone is just like slightly off of the wireless thing, it just it just won't work. Um, for me personally, I don't think I like it. Honestly, I think there's a, there's got to be some other wireless solution, and, and taking up a full cup holder, it just doesn't seem that great. So, honestly, mm -hmm. I wouldn't. <laughs> I think it's in the crappy corner. Anyway, oh. Michael found the Michael bought one on Amazon for nineteen dollars. Oh, 
Okay. Mm. See, like, rather plug in with CarPlay. See, this is the thing. Is iTech mentions uh, CarPlay in Android Auto. And absolute. If your car has CarPlay or Android Auto in it, that's really all. You just plug that, you know, do that, uh, honestly. Uh, okay, great. Uh, with that, let's move on to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. <laughs> They're geeky and they're goofy, together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play. In this gadget warehouse. Log on. Our video of the week is from someone who is often in chat, Rachel Z's, a.k.a. Sims to Rachel. Woo! And Rachel has a video about I did bins a couple of times in a row. I found expensive bins and then cheap uh, bins. So here's Rachel's take on bins. Hi, Dick and Chad. Uh, last week I was at the show live taping and had these uh, wonderful storage containers that uh, Dickie D was talking about. Oh, wait. Wait, these are the ones that I bought before I saw D Dickie D's ones. They're awesome. They're very much like what he had, except mine are 19 gallon instead of 8 gallon, I think he said. But otherwise, exactly the same. And then, these are the other ones I got. Mm -hmm. There are six of them. Uh, unlike this wonderful set, <laughs> there are. <laughs> each one doesn't have its own top. There's only a grand total of two tops for six containers, meaning you can do two sets of three if you want. Um, these are very, very small. Small. They do not have <laughs> handles. They are very flimsy. Um, yeah. So my other ones I'm using to hold 3D filament. I could maybe fit three rolls in there something yeah, like that not limited no oh, that one looks like see. the back is falling off already okay <laughs> it is at least deep enough but is it tall oh it is tall enough so maybe four but still not very many um so i did not put them all together because i am sending them back ah! i am not impressed they are like the tiny tiny babies, I guess, uh, of my other ones. So these good ones that I got, they were on a very special sale. Like I said, they're 19 gallons. Get a set of four, regularly 270 Amazon was having a lightning deal. And then there was an additional coupon that uh, I saw on slickdeals.net. They made them $81. Hmm. Well, so well, I got them and before. they're so great. So that's when I decided I would get something else. These ones... 23 quarts, six of them, regularly $70. And with the coupon, or not the coupon, it was a lightning deal last week. They were 48, which is still not worth it. Not even worth 48 again. So I'm sending them back because I have a bunch of craft supplies I wanted to put in them. And I'm like, the fact not that they don't enough. have handles and they don't individually have lids is kind of a deal breaker because. So just sitting next to the, the other lids, ones, you can tell. You can tell. I'm pulling the oh lid off and it's ah! It's just, it's garbage. Um, so don't buy those. And I did, they've been having a ton of deals on these sorts of things lately. So yesterday there was another lightning deal. It was the same type as this one. Looks exactly the same, but different branding. Uh, on Amazon, it was on a lightning deal. Regularly 180 for a set of four and it was down to 108. I'm like, well, I'm sending the other ones back. So, you know, basically it paid for half of it. Actually, it did pay, yeah, pretty much exactly half of it. So, we'll see. I'm guessing they're going to be much better. Hopefully as good as my first ones. All right. So, I'd let you guys know what I thought. So, yeah. my thoughts. Bye. This is great. I feel like Rachel, we're getting it directly thank you. Though, from yeah, the, the source. Those, <laughs> the, the, those cheapy ones looked awful. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, my, the, I bought... Uh, I sent one more link. I bought a second set. So there's a whole bunch of 
it, yeah, links to go Oh, yeah, so th those was, look dreadful. Yeah. And then this is the... Uh, these are 19-gallon four-pack for 188 But I think this was what was being discussed because this is... 180 but look at this $40 coupon. Yeah. I'm also not signed in, so maybe less than that. And then was this the one you added? Yeah, and, and you know what? I got, when I bought mine, they were two for $25. They're not quite as good as the ones Rachel has and the ones I first bought, but fortunately, I liked them enough that I bought six of them but now they're twenty five dollars each. Yeah. Uh, and when I bought them, they were two for twenty five dollars. Yeah. Is... These it's uh, like a bin market. It's like yeah, buy, yeah. buy. And, and Rachel's right. There's suddenly, there's suddenly like a, a dozen different companies <laughs> making these. Yes. Uh, of all different sizes and qualities. Ah, and, so, and we just got an update. The second set of good ones came, and they are exactly the same. That's good. Good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So if you're looking for bins, yeah, I don't know why they're, they're uh, doing it in gallons. Mine were done in gallons. Yeah. I got the nine. I think I got the 19 gallon uh, version. <gasps> yeah. So I think this is the 13 gallon gallon yeah, version. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is so funny. Uh, yeah, that's really funny. Okay, well, uh, thank you for the uh, for the update. And Rachel, the, um, that's great. Yeah, I feel like we did like investigative reporting of like all the different options. Yes. This is awesome. So and, and Rachel, uh, Rachel said if she win, uh, she's going to get a mad. Could she get last month's issue, which is the Taylor Swift issue? Oh, yeah. And you can the stinky the stinky issue. Yes. Love is love stinks. That's great. Uh, how can people send in their videos? Okay, anything to do with a gadget. Okay, make a video, one to three minutes. You can be in it if you want, or like Rachel's video. Uh, just make sure we can see the gadget and hear your voice, and you can describe it. Uh, put it up on YouTube. When you upload a video to YouTube, there's a drop-down menu. It can be public, so anybody can see it, but most of the time people pick unlisted, and you get a URL from YouTube and send that to us, mail at gizwiz.tv. Um, just make sure that you use the uh, horizontal format and anything to do with the gadget. We love old technology. We love new things like here. Here we found... A couple of brands you can rely on, and one that is a piece of crap. Uh, so make a video, get it to us, mail at gizwiz.tv, anything to do with a gadget. That's perfect. Okay, Scooter X may have oh another bin option. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's, hear let's read through these specs. Uh, 78 quarts. Oh no, we cannot switch. <laughs> <laughs> measuring units, okay? My poor American mind cannot comprehend yes. uh, the the switch, but three pack, five pack. Oh my gosh, look how big that is. If that is actually. They are, they are <laughs> if this big. Is a good representation. Holy yeah, that's cow. Massive. They Very actually big. look kind of decent. Four quarts to a gallon. 19.5 gallons is what Eric Duckman says. Oh, okay, yeah, 19, yeah. Yeah, that, that's sort of a problem. On some of them, it'll say uh, 19 quarts, 38 quarts, but it's not that the bin is bigger, it's that it's two 19-quart bins. <laughs> right. Th that, it's that like that one, that one thing that was like, this is 14,000 degrees of, of, it was 14, I think it was 1,400 Degrees of motion. Oh, yes, yes, yes. It wasn't yes. 360. It was no, 1,044. Yes. Yeah, and they had just, like, added up. <laughs> this is so silly. Uh, it's a marketing breakthrough. Okay, with that, let's move on to the letter. Now. 
Now, our letter is from Lori Helms. And she said, I thought of you guys when I saw the description of these wipes. Please see the attached photo. <laughs> Love the show, Lori. So zoom in on that. Okay. Prepar it's Preparation H medicated wipes <laughs> with advanced wipe technology. We love advanced wipe technology. Well, Old, I mean, I, I old wipe technology before. looked a lot like this. Yeah. Old, disgusting, advanced wipe technology looks exactly. like this. Exactly. <laughs> that is hilarious. Yeah. That is a good catch. That is a that great is, catch. That is advanced wipe. Advanced <laughs> wipe. God, there was no video demo. <laughs> just... Yeah, I do not need the preparation H witch hazel demonstration. Thank oh, you. God, that, that is, is so funny. Yeah. Wendell said, I have the no wipe technology. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> That's the cheap brand. Yeah. yeah. Oh that my gosh. Right. Uh, yeah, I don't. I, uh, <laughs> I don't even know where to go with this joke. No, I know. There's nothing you can. There's just too much. much the preparation H yeah. is there. The, the, yeah. the wipes are there. Oh my gosh, that is I know. too too funny. Yeah. Very good catch. Uh, the wipe. Yeah. <laughs> Lori, thank wipe. you for that. No wipe technology, and that's no. Uh. <laughs> Uh, with that, I guess we should say thank you to our patrons over at patreon.com slash gizwiz. Thank you guys so, so much for your support of our show. We appreciate it so, 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 so much. So thank you, thank you, thank you. We love to take a moment of our show and just say thank you to everybody who supports our show. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you like the gizwiz, please consider giving back. Patreon.com slash gizwiz or head to our website gizwiz.tv. Click on the Patreon tab. And there's a big old banner that'll take you to our Patreon page or a tiny little link that'll take you to PayPal. Thank you guys once again. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Gizwiz.tv is where you can watch the show live just about every Thursday, 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern Time. Every time we're live, the website will update with the live stream so you can chat along with everybody, see it live. And, uh, and hang out with us as uh, we uh, talk about some gadgets. If there's ever a schedule change, it'll be there at the top of the website. And uh, all of our previous episodes are there. Gizwiz.tv, so you can check them out and watch at your leisure. Also, head on over to the YouTube page or find us on Apple Podcasts or all over the net. Head on over to gizwiz.biz, that's Dickie D's website. He writes articles about all of the gadgets that we talk about on the show. So if you're ever needing a link or a descriptor of any of the gadgets that we talk about, head on over there. And while you're there, play the real what the heck is it? What? No, this is, well, honestly, we are like two weeks away from this being revealed. This is the yes. second to last Thursday in April. I know. The time is going so fast, and you're playing for the da ah, There it Mad is. Mad Roast Comedy, the June issue of Mad. Man, I have definitely, I, I think fried comedy is my favorite. I can do a roast, <laughs> you know? More of a yeah. deep fried comedy fan but uh, i like air fried comedy Ooh, because less it's calories it's a much lighter kind yes of i like that i like that uh so if you think you know what this gadget is get a guess and gizwiz.biz six man magazines for correct answers 12 man magazines for funny clever or hilarious answers so uh get a guess and uh this is uh, obviously the um eclipse glasses uh for the the egg eclipse. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah and you didn't see the, the great egg eclipse of 1992? Well, these are some holdovers from, uh, from that, that season. Uh, if you think you know what this is, get a guessin'. Gizwiz.biz. And you got to do it like now or next week. So, because uh, that'll be swapping out in, uh, at the end of the month. With Correct. that, I think that about wraps it up for our show. We'll see you next week. I'll be here. <laughs>